Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing Fix This Old Slime. And this was suggested to me by Unicorn Plays, so thank you so, so much for the video suggestion. Shout out to you. And the rest of the shout outs go to... Natalie Stover, Red Antler XOX, Owen Party of Six, The Amazing Alex Pinda, Lila JC, Ava Alls Up, Elisa Gear, and Lolo. So thank you guys so, so much for supporting my YouTube channel. And if you guys want a shout out in one of my future videos, all you have to do is subscribe, turn on the bell, and comment hashtag Crafty Crew in one of my recent uploads. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for supporting my YouTube channel. And let's get on with the video. So these are the old slimes I have, and I know, super ugly, I'm sorry, but they're like two years old, so you know, and I think I'm just going to be fixing this one, and all of these were actually the same, they were like a slime smoothie, and these were like some kind of slime that I made with Play-Doh, but anyways, I'm going to be fixing this one. So let's see how it's like. Oh, actually, it does not seem to be hard, and it does not seem to be melted, which is very surprising. But I don't want these foam beads, so I'm going to try to take those out. Okay, scratch that. I'm not going to take out the foam beads because there's way too many of them, and it would probably take way too long. So I'll leave those in, and there's also some weird, like, eraser bits. I don't even know why I put those in there. But I'll at least take those out, but the foam beads, I guess, can stay. So here is the two-year-old slime, and guys, this is such a good consistency. Like, it didn't melt, it didn't, like, get hard. Like, I'm so shook right now. But we are still going to fix this. So the first thing I'm going to do is add some clay, and I'm going to be using some Daiso clay. It feels hard and, like, really rippy, but that's how Daiso clay is in general. And I've only had this clay for a while, and I don't want to waste it, so I hope it will still mix in nicely. So I mixed in the clay, and it mixed in, thankfully. And while I did that, I also took out some eraser pieces, and whatever random stuff I found in there. And as you can see in this time lapse, um, some foam beads fell out, and that's because the clay did make the slime much more stiff. So since the slime is now stiff, I'm going to add some lotion and some watermelon scented soap, which will make it softer and also make it smell nice, a king watermelon themed slime, as you can probably guess. So after I got the nice texture that I wanted, I added some red food coloring. And guys, I was really afraid for this because, you know, this slime used to be brown and adding trying to make it red you know that might be hard but luckily the clay did make it already lighter which was really handy and that's pretty much why i added the clay um but also um this still did take quite a bit of food coloring um and i really tried not to get it on my hands and i finally got the consistency that i wanted guys and i got some on my hands um so that didn't work out but this is basically all i need and i'm going to add in some add-ins but i'm basically just going to show you guys the final product with the add-ins on top here is the finished product so i added on the top just some black white and red glitter and i also added some watermelon female slices and some strawberry because i thought there wasn't enough watermelon so the name for this slime that i'm going to call it is strawberry watermelon cake batter and i think that's a pretty good fitting name especially since it's a butter slime now let's go with the asmr So I'm sorry if that was kind of cringy. Butter slime doesn't really make good bubble pops and stuff. And also I kind of regret adding female slices to a butter slime because you can't really see them. 
but give me a second shot on the ASMR to end this video. So I personally think that that clip of ASMR was much better and I really liked the glitter thing. I think it sounded really satisfying and stuff. And I decided to name this Strawberry Watermelon Buttercream instead since, you know, it's a butter slime. And even though it's not very good for ASMR and bubble pops, it's really soft and fun to play with. So I'm really glad that I did this makeover. It looks so much better. Now, if you guys want to see me um, give a makeover to my other two-year-old slimes these ones because they really need a makeover then please like the video so that i know and also don't forget to subscribe and comment down below some video suggestions so i hope your day is full of peace love and happiness bye guys